Uh, oh, yeah. Social media. Officially, it's called X now. So on X, uh, at Cinnaman665. On our Instagram is at the under, underscore underground underscore broadcast. That's for the IG. And we're no longer uploading to TikTok. If you want to go to our TikTok, you can go. It's the underground broadcast, but I'm done. Overnight, my videos went from getting 300 views to getting five or six. Fuck you. They shadow banned us. They muted a lot of my videos because they didn't like what I was saying. Motherfuckers. Then they say I cannot pull Kanye's wife walking around naked and shit. Everyone else posts their pictures of her ass. Why can't I? Sons of bitches. Pisses me off. Fuck you. TikTok. Anyways, I hope Joe Biden fucking gets you the fuck out of this country. I'm tired of it. I'm just gonna put it like that. X all the way. Cheers, Elon Musk. <laughs> Give us a discount on the Starlink so we can have fast internet beyond this bitch. You know what I'm saying? Elon Musk, hit us up. We need a sponsor. A rich one. You dick. Anyways, let's see all the comments. And we're going to start uh, oh, with Carlin. Carlin. Colin Larson, this motherfucker, this fucking army Beretta motherfucker. I remember this guy. He says, where's the live show, fool? I explained to him what's been happening. Two more weeks. We'll be up there in the main channel. This is a, the motherfuckers that used to watch us. Now they're confused. They're saying, well, he's posting the videos on Saturday, but where's the live show? I used to come out here and fuck around in the live show. Yeah, you know, it's what's been going happening when we get banned and we show stuff we're not supposed to be showing. Tonight, I'm going to show the Furiosa, because I saw it. You know, re re spoil it for all of you motherfuckers. So you don't have to go watch the movie. Shit. So hopefully we don't get banned for that. I don't want to have to re-upload another video after I just spent six hours fucking editing it. And shit. Anyways. Why is this on top chat? Put it on, on live chat, motherfucker. There you go. Always, always trying to fuck us over, YouTube. Motherfuckers. Anyways, cheers, Colin Larson. We miss you. We'll see you in a few weeks. You'll finally see the link there coming out, man. It's just pissing me off. There's a lot of people missing out on the live broadcast because we got banned on the main channel. We can't get banned anymore, man. We'll, we'll lose the channel and we're fucked. Anyways. Uh, oh, some guy named Big Big. I think it's Big Guy. Big guy 617 it's either big guy or it's by guy which is even better cheers <laughs> i think it's by guy on x ming 97 actually sucks and actually i made this video before we even saw the series this was like when they showed the first trailer and i ripped it apart he says bishop was there in the time fugitives and when Apocalypse tried to take over the axis of time, I remember that. I agree his inclusion on the team wasn't enough for a few episodes. He was only there to make the birth of Nathan Cable make sense, which is stupid. Yeah, I kept complaining when we were when I started reviewing uh, By Guy. When I started reviewing the actual fucking series by episode two, I was saying, like, why is Bishop there? He doesn't even say anything. He just stands in the background, just standing there like, oh, oh, the only time he fucking does anything is like when there's a fight. Oh, okay, when there's a fight, bring the black guy so he can beat some people up. Fuck you, Marvel. And then it made sense in episode three when Nathan was sent to the future. They're like, oh, Bishop is here. We can just send him with him. Coincidentally. Fuck you. That didn't all make sense and shit. I don't know. I think that was the only fuck up, the main fuck up that I saw. There. The first two episodes were lame. And that, that that was a huge fuck up that I didn't like. And you know what? I didn't complain about it, but I should have. The very last episode. Nothing that happened should have happened. Like, because the solution was simple. The asteroid was falling to Earth. Ah, oh, and they couldn't stop it. All the X-Men were trying to stop it and shit. And uh, it took Magneto to wake up out of his coma and ass. They have Nightcrawler. Nightcrawler could have 
just transported the whole asteroid further into space away from crashing into Earth. So, <laughs> they fucked up there. They have a mutant that can just teleport anything, including the car he's in. If he's inside of an asteroid, just move the asteroid and shit. Poof it. <laughs> a lot of people don't know in the comic books, they explained a long time ago, but when Nightcrawler does the bamf or he disappears and shit, and that cloud of smoke, you know, he leaves behind, it smells like ass. <laughs> no one's ever said anything. Everybody's like, it was, uh, I forget what episode, what, what, I have the comic book because I, even I was like, what the fuck? They were saying like, uh, it smells like sulfur every time he leaves. <laughs> and the reason he does that is because they revealed it, Jonathan Hickman, is that every time Nightcrawler uh, transports or teleports, he actually tra uh, teleports through in between a dimension and then back to Earth. But he does it so fast that he actually never even realized that's what he was doing. And the, the dimension he, he actually transports to before he transports back to Earth is the, it's like a, a hell dimension. <laughs> Everything's on fire. It's like, and that's why when he fucking boofs and shit, the, it smells like sulfur. Like, cause it's hell and ass. <laughs> that's fucking funny. Uh, so yeah, uh, it's a hell dimension. I think the, the X-Men at one point were hiding. And uh, when they were fighting the, the, was it the, oh my God, I'm such a fucking comic nerd. Cause I have them. They were fighting the, uh, what are they called? The inhumans. They were fighting the inhumans and they were hiding. They were because the inhumans were, were winning and shit. And they were the X-Men, there were fewer X-Men. And there was this cloud that was traveling to earth. And if you touch the cloud, the mutants would die and shit. Cyclops died. It was crazy. Um, this is before Jonathan Hick Hickman rebooted everything. Um, but they were hiding in that dark dimension. Night tr Nightcrawler transported and, and Magic. Nightcrawler and Magic transported everybody to this hell dimension. And that's where they were hiding. The X-Men. An ass. All right. Bye, guy. I got really nerdy with you. So cheers. Thank you for commenting. <laughs> All right, uh, all oh, the motherfuckers over here, fucking motherfucker. Um, <clears throat> J Hart W. Uh, on the underground broadcast, uh, he put a laughing emoji, and he puts "Son of Man" out of context. Um, and then uh, this is what he wants me to play. So here you go. Because it's gonna be like, oh, I'm hot as fuck and skinny, and I'm gonna beat your ass. Alright, that, you know what? I was gonna get mad, because he's trying to fucking quote me on this and shit. Uh, but he did put it right there, out of context. So, I get, yeah, I give it to you, motherfucker. I mean, yeah, when you hear it like that, it sounds fucking weird. Let me play it again. Because it's gonna be like, oh, I'm hot as fuck and skinny, and I'm gonna beat your ass. I was talking about <laughs> Caitlin Denver, or Denver, or Denver, or some shit like that, who's gonna be Abby Smash. And that bitch is just as skinny as me and sec as sexy as me, too. Little waist like me. Shit. They want her to be Abby Smash. It's gonna be weird, you know what I'm saying? Anyways, motherfucking Rocco and uh, put their good idea, son of a bitch. Fuck you, Rocco. Satanist. Anyways, cheers, J Hart W. <laughs> Thank you for commenting, you guy. <clears throat> All right, let's see. Oh, Rocco, fuck my life. Let me hit it for this Satanist. Uh, where's his thing? Uh, here it is. Oh, baby, oh, baby, oh, baby. Rocco. All right, cheers, Rocco. Uh, son of a bitch. <laughs> he puts hashtag... Son, out of context, and he puts a laughing emoji. All right, let me show you what Rocco wanted me to play here. If you ain't gonna take the risk of getting AIDS and dying, why are you even doing it in the first place, you pussies? <laughs> yeah, I was talking about Stormy, Stormy Daniels. 
makes all the guys use condoms to fuck her in the porn. That's a bullshit. That's not that shouldn't be considered porn. That should be considered like women, like soft core and shit. We're using condoms. Fuck you. Yeah. That's not real porn. All right. Gotta be raw. <laughs> Cheers, Rocco. You dick. I love you. All right, let's see. This one freaked me out because at first I thought it was somebody trolling. But it's a new, I want to say new old account. I don't know, I'll just put it like that. It, I, he explains it, I guess. But here's his new account. The trumpets will sound 2024. The trumpets, y'all, he's back. Uh, let's see. Let's see what he's been up to. Son of a bitch. Uh, he goes, uh, oh, yeah. You know how we do in this channel. There we go. What's up, muchacho? Sorry, I've been absent, but my character has been under huge scrutiny. No worries. I know true Americans like Gomer Kyle in Houston, Texas, very own Joe Cool can see past these slanderous accusations. Also, my old account has been blocked from commenting on YouTube. Due to this, I may have played a part in getting you past 600 subscribers. Congratulations, son of man. On this triumphant achievement, America is proud. Anyhow, cheers, amigo. Hashtag woke pack for life. Oh, I almost forgot. Here's my two cents. Son of man out of context. Hey, didn't the president fuck your wife? Cheers! That was awesome. <laughs> the fucking trumpets is, is, is fucking son of man out of context. Here's what he said. Hey, didn't the president fuck your wife? <laughs> oh that was so good bro i'm glad you're back i was wondering because we went like almost a month we didn't hear from this motherfucker i said oh shit maybe it really is trump and he's busy with the trial he hasn't had time to comment here <laughs> it turns out his fucking shit has been blocked <laughs> He shouted out Gomer, fucking Joe Cool, as always. It motherfucker. It sounds crazy. I found a better AI. I think this AI is better than the last one I was using. Uh, so yeah, yeah, yeah. I think this one's good. Hey, cheers, trumpets! Thank you for fucking uh representing and hollering. Live, motherfucker! Cheers. Light a doobie for you. Oh, fucker. Anthony Timmons. Oh, yeah. Timmons. On the MCU's Wilson Fisk has a problem. He says, They should have left Daredevil, The Punisher, and Luke Cage, Jessica Jones on Netflix. They did it right. Now they turned him into a bunch of simps. Kevin Feige sucks ass. Yeah, 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 yeah. And I don't know, man. I mean, I don't want to judge it yet, even though I have been. <laughs> uh, I don't want to judge it too much because um, Kevin Feige has said that his favorite comic book characters are Daredevil and the Silver Surfer. So that uh, kind of gives me some hope that he's taking care of this show. Uh, but this whole thing about two seasons were shot already, 19 episodes. He fired everybody, he threw everything away, and they filmed nine reshoots, nine episodes. It just sounds like bad, like, it, it, it sounds bad already. Because we've seen what, you, what, what has been fed to us when that situation occurs. Because that happened with Echo, and that's happened with other movies. It's happening right now with Captain America Part 4. Uh, so... Yeah, it's happening with all these movies. They're just pushing them back and pushing them back because Kevin Feige's like, this is ass, this is ass. And then he goes and he tries to fix it and it turns out to be even more ass. Uh, it's it's Lucas all over again. This is Ka Kathleen Kennedy fucking up Lucas. Uh, Kevin Feige's lost his, he's lost, I don't know. I keep my fingers crossed, you know, because like I said, he says Daredevil's his favorite character, so maybe, maybe, maybe this might be good. Let's just hope. Cheers, Anthony Timmons. Thank you for commenting. Cheers. 
Take small gulps. Ah, oh, Jess Rivers. I'm the Diddy. The Diddy thing keeps getting worse. He or she or they, them, says, This man is sick and disgusting. Yeah, well, Diddy. Wait a minute. Are you talking about Diddy or are you talking about me, motherfucker? You need to be more specific because that sounds like you could be talking about me too. You dick. <laughs> this man is sick and disgusting. Cheers! <laughs> A little late on the DJ horn there. Fucking up. Uh, thank you, Jess, for commenting. Whatever you may be. Uh. Oh, culture war bandit. I, this guy's name is canceled for life. Uh, don't forget now. Uh, let me hit her for this fucking uh, racist. Here we go. What do you call a hundred black men buried in the ground up to their neck? What? Afro turf. So another. How do we know that Adam and Eve uh, weren't black? Oh. You ever try to take a rib away from a black man? Okay, what, 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 are, what are three things that a black man can't get? A black eye, a fat lip, and a job. I told you I'm gonna kick this boy. Someone just got canceled. Someone just got canceled. Someone just got canceled. I wonder what they did. You racist. Uh, on the black samurais are here. Cancelled says, Assassin's Creed's franchise has lost its way. They've ruined it by killing off Desmond and de deviating from the modern day story. Also, what happened to the sages? So many drop plot points and now it's all lost and makes no sense. They ruined the story with Valhalla. It's time for a reboot. Um, yeah. Because, oh my god, look. I... Got into this game from... When did I originally start playing it? I started playing it when Assassin's 3 came out. The one of the American Revolution with Connor. That, that's my favorite game. Out of all the franchise, that's my favorite game. Above all of them. Um, But it was about to come out. And I was excited because I, I the, the trailers looked amazing. And so I wanted to get it. And I, and I pre-ordered it and everything. And so before it came out, I wanted to get familiarized with the franchise. And so, you know, luckily GameStop has used game. GameStop has used games. And when I went to go buy the Assassin's Creed Part 1, the guy at the register, because I smelled like weed. He's like, oh, you still, you smell good. I'm like, yeah, I smoke token out and shit. And he's like, hey, will you go on break? And he goes, man, there's no one here. I can go on break right now. And let's smoke a joint. And we were outside of the store smoking and shit. And I was telling him that I had pre-ordered and I was going to play the whole games. And he says, hey, if you beat the game in like five or six days and return it before seven days, whatever you paid for the used game, like if you even if you paid 30 bucks, we'll give you that exact same amount back. And he goes, but it has to be within seven days. It's no one knows. And I was all like, I can beat a game in seven days. Fuck it. <laughs> so I beat Assassin's Creed 1. Uh, Assassin's Creed 2, Assassin's Creed Brotherhood, and Assassin's Creed, uh, because basically Part 2 had three games. There was three, it was all Ezio story. It was, uh, Part 2, uh, Brotherhood, and I forget what the other one was called. Uh, but it was all Ezio story. Uh, but I played all those four games, and then I got all my money back from GameStop, too. Oh, that guy did me a solid, because it only took me, like, four or five days, like, four or five days to beat him all. I would come home from work and just play it for four or five hours every day. Wake up in the mor morning before work and play it for three hours and shit. <laughs> Super early. Um, so I got really into it. And yes, I was angry when they killed Desmond at the end of part three. I said, what are you going to do now? And then part four, which was Black Flag, got interesting. Because now it was that continuation after Desmond. And somehow the story was still continuing. The modern day story was still continuing. And it was a sage. And now it made sense because you saw these motherfuckers in the past games. And the sages. And uh, that's when they went on and they still kept explaining the sage. It was the same guy. They kept explaining the sages in the other ones. Uh, the one when they went to France. 
and shit. And it was the same guy. Well, he had a different colored eye. That fucking guy. But he, his soul got transferred from out of the fucking shit into a human at the end of Black Flag. And they left it there. It pissed me off. They never went back. Because when we got to Origins, which is the Egyptian one, they did a whole fucking other story and shit. Uh, they in the modern day story, it wasn't a sage. Um, uh, it was uh Cassandra, and then Layla, and then Layla dies. And going on to this, because he says they ruined it with uh Valhalla. Valhalla was the Viking one. I didn't buy the Viking one, but it pissed me off because the Viking one just. Messed all the story up because I went on YouTube and I let me see what this game is about because I, I didn't want to play it I'm gonna be honest with you. I didn't want to play Valhalla uh, I saw all the previews. I saw all the explanations and it was just like this game does not sound cool The Cassandra one was perfect because it was RPG and this one's not RPG and it pissed me off It was it was different Um, So I didn't even bother but I saw the story on YouTube and it completely fucked it up because now it's like oh Loki Loki and 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 and, and Thor and Odin because you were actually Odin spirit or his oh my god They just fucked everything up and Loki is now loose and I'm playing Mirage right now The one in Baghdad and that's supposed to be Loki From back then and I know I'm saying Loki and Odin and it sounds crazy But you understand is that those names it's not like they were actually Norse gods They were just people and those were the people's names that those people are from the first civilization before the great catastrophe before but that's why they we don't know our true history those fucking people those were their names and they were able to put their consciousness in a machine and technology and be able to be reborn inside of a human beings but they have to remember who they were and shit oh it's crazy uh but eh, it completely deviated from when the original story was going what happened to the sages and shit and desmond and his family so yeah right now it's lost and we're gonna get black samurais now in Japan, and everyone's pissed. Everyone's pissed. Uh, so yeah, it's time for a reboot. I agree. I would have thought that by now the franchise would have moved on to modern day, where now you're an assassin fighting the Templars or now Illuminati, whatever you want to call them, in modern days with guns and snipers and cars, GTA style, still wearing a hoodie. And this time it's a hoodie. The guy wears a hoodie. Maybe wears a backpack. Like a kid or something, like one of those street kids. It'd be badass, but no. They're fucking still fucking around in the past. Uh, so I don't know. Whatever. I'm with you, man. I'm, uh, I'm with you. I'm playing right now Assassin's Creed Mirage. It feels, that one actually feels more like the very first game. They, they just make you sneak around and do everything stealth. And frankly, that's how I like to play. I don't like combat. I don't like combat at all. Uh... I, with Cassandra, I, I mean, even with Cassandra, I didn't like it. With Cassandra, what I would do is I was on Archer. From far away, I was just sharpshooting people. Uh, but besides that, my favorite stuff is to sneak around and then go behind people and, whoosh, and then grab the body and put, him, put, put, put the body in a bush and then keep walking around finding the next motherfucker. I would clear an entire castle without ever getting spotted <laughs> and killing every <laughs> single buddy. <laughs> That's the way I play, man. I like it like that. Cheers! Cancelled for life. Oh, Super Say, uh, a Super a Super Say, a Haku. He says, um, the Diddy keeps getting worse. Did you don't did you don't play. He treated her like I treat my kids for not listening. <laughs> you punt kick your kids. <laughs> I would too. <laughs> Anyways, he says when I tell you to do something, you do it. You little prick. Now pick up the mess I threw at you. You caused this on yourself. Daddy don't play with that shit, Mo Flowers. Cheers! Hashtag. Live. Oh, you gotta be hard, these motherfuckers, man. Ah, uh, my neighbors call the cops on their son all the time. That motherfucker's gotta be like ten or eleven, but he looks fifteen. <laughs> That's the biggest fucking kid in the world. <laughs> that month. And I remember maybe if maybe like last year in the fall, that motherfucker was small and skinny. That motherfucker's tall and looks like a fucking linebacker now. 
and he's still a kid. He, <laughs> he, he can't be older than 10, I know, because he's still in the middle. He's still in the... I don't think he's in... He's in elementary, I think. He's not in the middle school yet. I don't think. I don't think that's a middle school. I don't know. Anyways. It doesn't matter. The point is... Maybe it is a middle school. Maybe he's 10 or 11. I don't know. It's a big kid. But they call the cops all the time. Last time, the ambulance, the fucking, uh, the, uh, the fire department, and the cops came. And the kid was, like, behind the car like that, and they were all surrounding him, like, trying to talk him down and <laughs> shit. <laughs> ah, it was hilarious, bro. It was hilarious. I was all like, all oh, this would be fixed with a good old whooping. Good old fashioned whooping. Uh, but everybody's afraid to whoop their kids nowadays. Not Joku. Joku knows we're old school motherfuckers. You get that chancla, you fuck those motherfuckers up, is what I say. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Cheers, Joku. You know what's up. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't have kids, you know, for that main reason. Because uh, I don't want to beat them and then go to jail for beating, beating children. Uh, because that's probably what would happen. <laughs> so I avoid those kinds of situations and I always pull out and come in the face. Cheers! <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, Super Saiyan Joku also on the Steve, Steve Buscemi got attacked. It must be the blacks getting back for the Asian hating blacks, even though they love their food and Asian love hip hop culture. Oh, well. Next time, give New York Debo your chain. Cheers, muff flowers. <laughs> um, we're gonna talk about this tonight because he got caught. So I don't want I want to talk get too much into it, Joku. Shit. <laughs> uh, but anyways, we'll keep we'll keep going on. Uh, and the Black Samurais are here. Joku says, "My best friend, my best friend, my best friend, my best friend." <laughs> My best friend lived in Japan, and they're really racist, he says, but it was okay, because he's right, I mean white. Because he's right, I mean white. Cheers, small flowers. Um, I'll just tell you like this. Japan is an island, and it's been isolated for so long, and their culture is really strict, and so different than everyone else's, that when you live in an environment, where 99.9 percent of the population looks like this you're bound to fucking be discriminatory against every other person that doesn't look like that even if you're not taught racism you'll be like well you're gonna be like well well that man's skin is really brown <laughs> You know what I'm saying? Well, that's got those guys' eyes are really round and big. They're bulging out of their sockets. You know? I mean, it's just it's the way it is. You, you can't help but identif un identify someone who looks different than you. you know? Would you look at me? People are racist to me all the time. Can't even step out the door. Somebody looking at me. Faggot. Fuck you. This is normal. You're the faggot. Cause you don't look like this, pussy. That's what I say. Cheers. Gomer Kyle, ah, uh, the depression sits in for the Son of Man video. I feel you, bud. I just got to where I don't care anymore. Lots of old content out there. I'm actually rewatching the old Batman animated series. That's so badass. Not only is it as good as I remember, it also brings tons of my childhood memories back. I had all those toys. Such great nostalgia. Cheers. Hashtag. Live. Hashtag. I don't know. I don't know how to do it. I don't know what to do at the end. Gober, you're putting me in a spot here. I look like an idiot. <laughs> Cheers, motherfuckers. Uh, that show... That show was probably not for kids. It's such a badass show. Mm. 
It's uh, it's probably one of the best next to Spider-Man '94. Uh, straight up, I think that Batman the Animated Series was perfect. I like the I like the way everything looked really retro, like it was in the '30s or '40s, but yet it was still modern time. I kind of like that 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 feel to it because it did have that feel to it, you know. The buildings and shit always looked really tall too. It was crazy, you know. It was a good show, and and everything the the soundtrack in every episode. The soundtrack was amazing. Yeah, the noir feeling. Yeah, it was really good. And it was such a smart show. Like That's why I say, I mean, in reality, it's for kids. The kids can watch it and get entertained and shit. Uh, but a lot of them, I mean, a little kid might not understand what some of these words or what, what's going on and shit. They just know Batman's about to fight a bad guy. They, they really know what the fuck's happening. Uh, but, you know, you watch the show nowadays and you're all like, yeah, this is a fucking good ass show. Yeah, yeah. Cheers! Biden's lonely day. Oh, but, but he corrected and says this was supposed to be the toast video. I guess YouTube messed up. Imagine that. So it was supposed to be on the can we get some toast video. He says, uh, Gomer Kyle. When I hear toast, I think of the comedy song. Yeah, toast by... Haywood Banks, which is better than anything Disney's ever made lately. Cheers! Hashtag. Live. Uh, I don't know Haywood Banks, and I never heard of this yet. Toast and shit. Uh, I gotta look it up on YouTube one of these days. Cheers, Gomer. I'm gonna smoke to you. This motherfucker keeps going out, man. I miss those. Those uh. Brown sugar. Those brown sugar rolling papers. Super Saiyan Joku. Do you guys know what I'm talking about? It was like blunt. It was like the blunt wraps. But it was like zigzag size. And it was it was called brown sugars. It was it was a, a chick with an afro. And, and, and a little thong. And you would see her big ass. Those were badass to roll, dude. Mm. I miss those. I gotta look it up on eBay to see if I can find those. Because I know they don't make them anymore. But I bet you somebody has like a stash somewhere I could buy. Uh, Gomer also says on the Biden's loading day, lonely day. Do I have to say anything besides Trump 2024? Ah, oh, yeah. cheers. Oh, Trump's Bronx rally brought them out too. Joe couldn't even get crabs. Fuck Joe Biden. Ah, cheers, Gomer. <laughs> Look. I just want the Democrats out of office. I mean, at this point, it's never been more blatantly obvious that this party just wants everyone to be poor. I don't, I mean, so what? Because their sole basis is like, oh, you're poor. We can help you and take care of you. Just sign up here on this website. Fuck you. We give you all my information and shit. Here's a government-owned card, and we'll take care of you. Make sure you carry it around everywhere, because that chip has a GPS in it. It's shit. I'm telling you, bro. So, yeah. Uh, at this point, I just, I just want the rich bastards back in office. The, the Republicans. Because at least they care about money. And they know that if everyone makes money, meaning us, the working class, the slaves, if the slaves are making money, then the slaves are spending money on the shit they're selling us. But if we don't have money, then they're not making money either. And they understand that. Idiots. That's how, that's how capitalism works, you dumbass. Democrats. Democrats try to turn this into a fucking communism. That's the problem. You know. The problem is, is there's got to be rich people. And they have to get tax breaks. So in order to give you a raise. Alright. And then you need to have money in order to buy the shit they're selling you. But if you don't have money, you cannot afford it. They're also losing money. And they're going to be just as poor as you are. Which is why... Uh, Kate Blanchett just said she's middle class. 
Even though she, she has like $95 million, she's middle class. She's poor now. Thanks to Joe Biden. He's making celebrities poor. A dumbass. Anyways. Vote for anyone except Joe Biden. Cheers! <laughs> and the Democrats. Don't vote for them. Super Saiyan Joku says, on the, on the Diddy, beat up Cassie or whatever. If she was really smart, she should have used his money to train Jiu-Jitsu and beat Diddy the fuck. The trainer like Tom Brady's ex-wife did. Oh, <laughs> oh, that's funny. Cheers, he says. Cheers, Joku, you motherfucker. Um, hey man, I mean, we'll talk more about the Diddy tonight. I don't get too much into these subjects yet, motherfuckers. I'll be reading your comments right now. Uh, uh Gomer Kyle and the Steve Buscemi got fucking beat up. If this would have been the other colors switched, we, we know what would happen. They would have gotten the chair. New York may bring back the un of alive to penalty again just to get rid of Whitey. LOL. Cheers. Cheers, Gober! <laughs> That's another subject for tonight. Gober! Always bringing up shit early, you motherfuckers! <laughs> we'll talk about it later, Gober. <laughs> I got my response for that. <laughs> oh, let me make sure this is the last one. Is it? Is it? Is it? Yes, it is. It's none other. Then my butt's been wiped. Oh yeah! <laughs> Not me. I mean, well, I mean, my butt's been wiped. It's been wiped and licked clean, motherfuckers. But this guy's uh, avatar name is my butt's been wiped. Uh, he says on the Biden's lonely day. Says, I know you're Trump people over here, but Joe is going to win again. Trump equals clown. Biden 2026. I may get shit, but I could take it. Oh, I like this guy. Yes! <laughs> hey, you're entitled to your opinion, and if you wanna oh, you wanna vote for a senile old man in diapers who's shitting and destroying our economy because he's taking orders from a bunch of people that are telling him what to do because he's not conscious of his actions. He really is not conscious of his own actions. All right. And whenever they do this debate thing, I can't wait. Oh, whenever they do this debate thing, they're going to pump him full of B12 injections, steroids, everything. Fucking even methamphetamines right before he goes out there just so he could be a little alert and fucking be able to continue. And Trump is going to go crazy. I can't wait. It's gonna. Oh my god, I can't wait. <laughs> Is it gonna be a crazy debate? Oh, no, I can't wait. I can't wait. We'll, we'll wait to see what happens. <laughs> we'll have all the highlights. It's a clown show all around, all right? <laughs> the fact that the. <laughs> that these are the two best candidates that they're proposing for the. for what used to be the greatest nation in the world. God damn it. We're not number one in nothing anymore. For fuck's sakes. We're not. We're not. Everyone knows it. All right. Everybody's beating us in everything. Mathematics, education, public television, stripping, everything. Motherfuckers are better at it than other countries in the United States. Ah, uh, we're no longer. But these are the two best motherfuckers they could find to say, hey, these are the best choices to run the country. There is no hope for none of us. Cheers. Oh my god. And I thought it was bad when it was John Kerry versus George Bush. This is worse. <laughs> it, this is so much fucking worse. Ah, oh, god damn it. What a time to be alive. What a time to be alive. Cheers, my butt's been wiped. Don't worry, we're not giving you too much shit. You can vote for Biden if you want. We I always say, anybody who votes this selection is a dumbass. And anybody who's ever voted, period, is a dumbass. <laughs> I don't vote, alright? That way when shit hits the fan, 
I can say it wasn't my fault because I didn't vote for that motherfucker. <laughs> Cheers! <laughs> Thank you for commenting, my butt's been wiped. You're the shit. We love you. Uh, but we're done with the fucking comments. Finally. Uh, took for fucking ever, you motherfuckers. Done with that ass. And, uh, remember, we're on X, Cinema 665, and we are at the Underground Broadcast on IG. And whatever you send me on your social medias, I'll post here and shit, as long as you put it within time. Gomer Kyle actually sent me something earlier with enough time that I was able to do this for y'all. But he wanted to show off some of his pops that he didn't get to show us. Check it out, Joku. He wanted to show off and flex for you. Say, fuck you, Super Saiyan Joku, you think you're so badass? With your room full of pops and all your, your fucking Dragon Ball Z legendary sign by Akira Toriyama. Fuck you. He says, I got Kramer, Newman, Jerry Seinfeld, George Costanza, and Elaine. Motherfucker. Oh, yeah, those are badass, bro. And he's got the Kramer when Kramer was when he had a job, I think, because he has a little suit. He has the Newman. I don't know what Newman is that, because that's not the regular postman Newman, is it? Uh, he has the Jerry with the puffy shirt. <laughs> Where that chick? He wore that chick. Uh, he's got regular George. I think that's just a regular George Costanza. And then he's got Elaine with a sombrero. She bought at that fucking Playa Maya or whatever, and she was getting mad because she went and bought a bunch of shit at the other store. And then the other store is all owned by the same lady. <laughs> fucking dumbass. Ah, oh, that's fucking funny. Um, but then he also showed off the Golden Girls. He's got them all. Blanche Rose and Sophia and shit. And the other lady. I would fuck them all for sure. Oh, yeah. There's a porn out there. A parody with the Golden Girls. <laughs> Check it out, fellas. Oh, also, I just want to say... Congratulations to Gomer Kyle because he did send me that uh, he had been illegal for like 11 years. He didn't have a driver's license. This motherfucker driving around illegally and shit. But he finally passed. He went and got his driver's license. Oh, yeah. Cheers, Gomer! I didn't know if you want me to post your. I did. I did. I mean. I mean. I don't know. That's that's a little too personal. So I didn't post your driver's license. <laughs> I know he blurred it out for me. I didn't want you to see the numbers and. But I still don't want to post it, Gober. Cause come on, bro. That's your driver's license. <laughs> so no, I don't want to post it. But congratulations, Gober. You're fucking legal in this fucking country. God bless you and God bless America. Cheers. Thank you all for commenting. You make the motherfucking show an ass. Hey, if you like this kind of content, how about giving this a like and a subscribe? And if you want to watch the full show, click on the link on the right or check the description.